Good morning, everybody. We are headed over to a Holiday Inn Express. Uh, got a call this morning from a plumber that I met at his supply house, and you know, we got to talking, and we kind of figured out we we're kind of the same kind of people. So he was at this Holiday Inn, and and he um, he was talking to the manager, and she said, "Hey, I need a, a guy that will come over here and fix my problem." Should I've had the same Yahoos come out and and um, all they want to do is put three hundred dollars worth of Freon in it every time they come out. I guess they never offered to figure out where the problem is and where the leak is to fix it. So we're going to uh, figure out and and uh, see what else we can take care of while we're here. Um, so. Anyway, maybe we'll get some shots of it. There's the old Cracker Barrel. And up there on the hill is the Holiday Inn Express. Alright. We'll pull up and go in there and see what's going on with it. Who put this shit together. Oh well. <laughs> anyway. Well the good part about doing service all the times you find all these mistakes that people make and gives you great content for YouTube. Anyway, here's a little mechanical closet and the it's like 17 and a half inches wide from the door frame to the unit. So if something ever happens to that air handler back there, you can't get it out. Can't change the coil without moving this air handler. So anyway, so uh, the guys have been working on this have just put been out here just putting Freon in. Well, after investigating, that coil on that unit is completely caked with dirt. This unit right here, here is the return opening. That's a 14 by 14 hole, and there is an 8 inch fresh air duct, which, you know, if they wouldn't have put that in it, it really would have been bad. but. Anyway, so that's the only return for that three-ton unit, and uh, yeah. the is, what we'll go look at it? the other side in a minute. All right, here's the back side of that three-ton with that 14 by 14 open. Uh, there's a fresh air duct. I'm assuming that's what it is, but uh, I've just been here just a few minutes. But we're gonna have to add some more return air to that one, so we may have to go from the plenum there go up into the ceiling, across the ceiling, and into the lay-in. Alright, this is unit number one. That's the one that's sitting back in the back with uh, the coals all dirty. And it is a four-ton unit. Uh, there's a three-ton carrier. Uh, it's only got 14 by 14 return. And number three unit, I hadn't even looked at it yet, but it is a like a five ton. Um, so it's been replaced. It's been replaced because it hadn't had enough return. And I'm almost confident it doesn't have enough even without looking at it now after seeing the other two. But we'll just look at the uh, four ton unit, the number one, and see what the return on that one looks like. Alright, so here is the number one four ton return. As you can see, I don't know what size it is, but I can already tell you it's not very big. And then, let's look up inside here at the coil. That's the bottom of the coil. It's completely caked. So, but I pretty much knew it was because when I walked in, there's where the filter slides in. And I was in that room and I could see daylight through here, which told me there was no filter grill or no filter. So, anyway, so that's the number one. So, that's two. So, I'm going to go down there and look at the third unit and see what it looks like. Alright, so here we're at the 510 unit and we got a filter grill here, or not a filter grill, just a regular grill. But you see the opening. Step back. That's a 12 and a half by 18 opening. There is another one back there and it's exactly the same thing. So, uh, just because the filter just because your opening is 20 by 20 doesn't mean your opening is going to be 20 by 20. So, anyway, 
First and foremost, you gotta fix the return. Then we can figure out what to do about the repair. I know it's getting pretty dark to uh, watch indoor pools, but uh, I've already watched one. I've kind of changed my ductwork analysis. I started messing around. Uh, I went back to the coal, and they were one looked pretty clean on the bottom, but it was packed full of dirt. So I tried to walk. Try to wash it in place or clean it in place, and that just did not work. And uh, so I, I, meant that I had to actually pull it and clean it. So now I'm on the outdoor or on the five hunter, and there it is. So I'll get that thing uh, washed out real good, and then I'll work on the four ton. That one's going to be a little the hardest one to do, and I'll show you one when uh, we get to it. I know this doesn't look like a lot, but that's what was inside that coil. And I washed it upside down so I could show you how much junk comes out of the coil. Now, I used foamy coil cleaner on it to, uh, uh, to pull that stuff out of there. I'm going to wash it one more time. I know you can't see it, but... I'm gonna wash it one more time with foamy and rinse it down real good. Stick it back in. I'll tell you what, that coal right there was a pain to get out and a pain to put back in. I think it was easier to get it out than it was to get back in. But it's washed and ready to go. I'll tell you what, whoever did this job here, um, I wish they would have been the one that come back and clean this coal. Uh, there's about, well, I took the door frame off. Here's a part of it right there. Had to take it off to get it out of there. And then I barely got it out then. But there's like 17 inches of room in between the door frame here and the air handler. And it was a, it was a, a bit hard to get out let's put it like that but anyway so it's back in clean that one was the worst one it was the dirtiest and it uh was the hardest to get out so anyway Look at these retards who put this shit together.